Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our health and nutrition tips. Today, we're diving into the world of butter replacements. Whether you're exploring vegan options trying to cut back on saturated fats, or just curious, this video is for you. Let's dig in. Firstly, the perks of butter substitutes. Number one, many are low in saturated fats. Why is this important? Well, reducing saturated fats could decrease your risk of heart disease and stroke. It's a change that your heart will thank you for. Secondly, if dairy isn't your best friend or you've chosen a vegan lifestyle, these alternatives have got you covered. Third, they often pack a punch of healthy fats. Yes, the good ones. We're talking renowned saturated and polyunsaturated fats. The guys responsible for lowering bad cholesterol and boosting the good cholesterol. And last but not least, if you're on the lookout for fewer calories, some butter substitutes are the stars of the show. Light or low fat options can be great for those looking to manage their weight. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are a few things to watch out for when choosing a butter substitute. Trans fats. Now, these have been largely phased out in recent years, but you still need to be cautious. They can be found in some margarines and other substitutes that use partially hydrogenated oils. These fats are troublemakers, increasing bad cholesterol and lowering the good stuff. Next, watch out for artificial ingredients. Some butter replacements might have artificial colors or preservatives, which could cause problems if you're sensitive or allergic to them. Also, you may not find as many nutrients in these substitutes as in regular, especially grass-fed butter. Things like vitamin A, E2, and body rate, a short-chain fatty acid may be lacking. And let's not forget the taste and texture might not be quite the same as butter. Not a health issue. But something to bear in mind, especially if you're using it for cooking or baking. Lastly, some replacements, particularly those based on certain plant oils like soybean or corn oil, can be high in omega-6 fatty acids. While these fats are essential, getting too many of them relative to omega-3 can cause inflammation and other health issues. So, the bottom line is, check your labels carefully. Not all butter substitutes are created equal. And the best one for you depends on your personal dietary needs and lifestyle. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might find it useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and we'll do our best to answer them. Stay healthy and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.